Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today, today we're talking about changes. There are a lot and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of changes coming to my channel, coming to my weight loss and fitness journey and just coming into the foods that I'm choosing and really my life overall. And today we're gonna talk all about it. We're also going to deep dive into my recent DEXA body scan. Now I had this body scan less than a month ago. A lot of you have been reaching out asking for updates. We are gonna talk all about it today and I'm gonna share with you my body scan results and how that has played a factor in all of these changes. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because I upload five videos every single week. And today, Sunday, we always do something a little bit different. And today we're talking about changes. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly, highly recommend having your macros and calories done. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. I'll also put my links to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely come join us. That is how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. So let's dive in to the changes. So like I mentioned, there are a lot of changes coming into my life, coming into my weight loss journey, coming into my fitness journey, and coming into the foods that I will be eating and how I'll be structuring my meals, as well as what type of content you'll be seeing moving forward here on my channel. So I think it makes sense to first deep dive into my DEXA body scan because this is what prompted a lot of these changes. So a DEXA body scan is basically a scan of your bone density, lean muscle, fat, and water. It gives you specific numbers for all of the different parts of your body, your arms, your legs, your waist, your hips. It's also going to tell you how much visceral fat you have, what your body fat percentage. It even discusses the BMI. We'll get into that, of course. And it's going to tell you what your bone density is and kind of where you rank overall compared to other individuals, your same gender, same age, and same height. It is extremely, extremely accurate. When I had my DEXA body scan, they gave me a printout that showed an image of my body and basically what my body fat percentage and my BMI. After those results of the scan were processed, then I received an email with more detail. And just yesterday, I had a conversation with one of the physicians that works with the company that I booked my DEXA body scan through. This is what he does all day is contact people and go over their results. I actually had a conversation with him yesterday. So that's kind of what I was waiting on before I shared this video because I wanted to get all of the details of my body scan so that I can share those with you, especially if you're considering having a DEXA body scan in the future. So when I went to have the scan, I actually went to a radiology place in Tucson. There was only one place that I was able to find a DEXA body scan in my area. The price of the scans range, ranges anywhere from about $50 to about $250. In my area, it was $195. Some insurance covers it and some doesn't. It does scan for bone density, so sometimes you can get your insurance to pay for it if that is a concern for you, osteoporosis or your bone density in general. I paid for mine out of pocket. It took about 10 minutes. I laid on a table and I had to sit extremely, extremely still. They actually taped my feet together so that I couldn't move my feet and then I had to place my hands like this at my side and she was very adamant that I do not move and then this machine kind of over the top of me passed over me seven times. I, it took about four to five minutes for the actual scan itself and like I said about 10 minutes or so total. I received my results within a couple of days and again like I said she gave me a printout that day. When the results came they were self-explanatory to a point, but I wanted to know more detail. I wanted to know where am I, where is my body at with body fat, with lean muscle, with tissue, with bone density, and what improvements can I make to make those numbers better? And that is why I had the conversation with the physician yesterday, and that was included in my $195 that I paid for the DEXA scan. Now, if you remember last November, I had a body scan. This is, I did this at a CrossFit gym. It's basically where you stand on a pedestal and it turns you around 360 and measures. It is not as accurate as this, as a DEXA scan. And like I said, this is really, really accurate with one exception. So let's jump into my results. I'm going to go ahead and pop the actual report 
of my DEXA scan here on the screen for you. So right at the top, the first thing that you're going to see is my body fat percentage. Now this says that my body fat percent is 32.1. And you can see that I'm in the high end of my body fat. The typical body fat you would want to see is 28% or less. You can also see that I am in the 11th percentile of other women my age when it comes to body fat. Now if you click on it, it's going to pull up another screen that's going to give you a little bit more information. So it talks about the science behind your number, that that body composition measurement is done with the DEXA machine. It talks about essential fat, that your body needs a certain amount of fat in order to live. Everybody has fat, even bodybuilders have fat. And kind of where your body stores fat, is it stored in the gynoid or the android? The android is more your waist, the gynoid is more your hip. This also is the apple and pear shape that we typically refer to for body fat storage. And then it's going to show you where you compare overall to the population. So mine says your reference population is based on your age, range, gender, and ethnicity. Your body fat percentage is in the 11th percentile. This means that close Close to 89% of women who are similar to you have a higher body fat percentage. And then it gives you a chart that shows you the comparison. And you can see that I'm in the low percentile for other women my age between the ages of 40 and 59 who are Caucasian and about 5'8". So this was really interesting. To know that I was in that 11th percentile was really, really exciting. This means that I have less body fat than 89% of other women my age. My question on this result was, is the DEXA machine measuring my extra skin as fat? Remember the body scan that I had, the one where I turned 360? It was measuring all the loose skin on my stomach, my thighs, and my back as fat. It didn't know the difference. So I was curious, does the DEXA scan know the difference? So this is the question that I had for the physician on our call yesterday. He said that the DEXA scan is very, very accurate. However, it is likely that the DEXA scan doesn't differentiate between skin and fat. Especially for me, I have quite a bit of loose skin on my stomach still, and I have a lot of loose skin on my thighs. So it's likely, very likely, that this DEXA scan was measuring that as fat, which made my body percentage, my body fat percentage higher. So that is where it may not be 100% accurate, is it doesn't, again, know the difference between loose skin and fat. It's kind of measuring the mass in that area. That is the contributing factor as to why you may see my body fat percentage a little bit higher, but me being leaner and having less fat than 89% of women my age. And we're going to talk about where I fall with my body fat percentage and how that plays a role a little bit later. The next thing that you're going to see is an image of my body. And this is what they refer to as the body fat distribution. So it's going to show you how much fat and lean muscle you have on your left arm, your right arm, your waist, your hips, your left leg, and your right leg. And then it's going to break down your body fat by region. So I weighed 187 pounds when I had my body scan, and I was 67 inches. The woman who took my height was a little short, so she goes, you're probably closer to 5'8", I just can't reach that high, so we put it in as a little bit over 5'7". It shows you that my left arm has 4.3 pounds of fat and 5.3 pounds of lean muscle, and then my right arm, which is interesting, which makes sense because that's the arm I use use mainly, I'm right-handed, I have a little less fat at four pounds and a little bit more lean muscle at 5.5. Now my waist, this was really exciting. My waist only has four pounds of fat and 10.3 pounds of lean muscle. And look at my hips, 10 pounds of fat and 18.9 pounds of lean muscle. And then my legs were a little bit different as well, which I found interesting. My left leg was 12.3 pounds of fat and 21.3 pounds of lean muscle. And my right leg was 11 pounds of fat and 19.4 pounds of lean muscle. So my total fat mass on my body is 59.7 pounds. My total lean mass, basically lean muscle, lean tissue is 121.4 and my total bone mass is 5.4 pounds. Now, if you add all of that up, it equals about 180 pounds, which is my weight. Next up, you're going to see here on the screen, again, that mass breakdown, 59.7 pounds of fat, 121.4 pounds of lean muscle mass. 
And then it talks about the science behind that number. Lean mass includes all parts of your body, organs, muscle, and fluids, except for your body fat and your bone mass. So the DEXA scan differentiates between bone and body fat, which is something different than the other body scan that I had. And then it says, why is lean mass important? Lean muscle is important because your muscles and internal organs have a higher metabolic rate than fat. In fact, muscle is 18% more dense than fat. So while one pound of muscle and one pound of fat weigh the same, muscle takes up less space. And I talk about this a lot. People are like, I can't believe you weigh what you weigh. You're so small because of lean muscle. Fat is this big. Muscle is this big. I'm going to actually pop in a picture here. My favorite picture that shows that a pound's a pound. Pound of muscle, pound of fat. But look how much smaller lean muscle is than fat. So it takes up less space. So you look smaller, even though the scale doesn't show that. That is why we don't give all the value to the scale. We don't give really much value to the scale at all. So next up, you're going to see visceral fat or what is known as that. Visceral fat is the fat around your organ. So it's not the fat that you can feel like in your belly or your arms or your legs or your hips. It's the fat that surrounds your organs. It's really the fat that is most concerning, the fat that leads to multiple health issues. So the DEXA scan actually measures that as well, which is amazing. So you can see here that my VAT mass is 0 0.8 two pounds and it's 24.66 in volume. Again, my waist breakdown that I only have four pounds of fat on my waist and 10.3 pounds of lean muscle. And then it again shows your visceral fat. It shows you an image of visceral fat versus abdominal muscles. And then subcutaneous fat is the fat on the surface, the fat that you can actually feel. Anything below 1.0 is really good for visceral fat. And you can see that mine is 0.82. So the physician that I spoke with said my visceral fat is perfection. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And he was really, really proud of that number and said that he doesn't see that a lot in women my age. Next up, you're going to see BMI. And it was funny because when he got on the phone with me, the first thing he said is we are not even going to talk about BMI because we don't go with BMI. We don't know her. She's irrelevant. He even said that first thing out of his mouth was I can't can't give you medical advice or fitness advice and we don't go by the BMI chart. And I love that because you guys know I always say we don't go by the BMI chart. It is outdated. It's archaic. And in order for you to be in a healthy weight at the, on the BMI chart, most likely you have virtually no lean muscle and it's not a healthy weight. You should definitely weigh more than the high end of the BMI chart. And you can see here that my BMI is 29.3, which puts me into the overweight category based on my height and my weight. You also have to remember that the BMI chart doesn't know the difference between muscle and fat, like the scale, it measures mass. So you can see I'm in the overweight category. Shows how the BMI is calculated. Mine at 28 puts me overweight and then shows you a body mass index visualized. And it's interesting because you look at the picture of the overweight individual. I don't look anything like that. I don't look overweight. I'm absolutely not overweight. And the physician I spoke with specifically said, I don't want you to lose any more weight. You are at a healthy, healthy weight and your BMI is healthy. And then I want to show you one little part about the BMI chart. And then we're not going to talk about it anymore because we don't go by it. But this was interesting. Look at where it says limitations. The BMI formula does not take into account overall fat, lean muscle, or bone mass. So some individuals who are muscular, muscle is 18% more dense than fat, can be healthy and classified as overweight using this formula. This ratio often misclassifies shorter people as being slimmer and taller people as being fatter than it's actually true. The BMI formula was created for white men, so it fails to take into account the differences in body types based on gender and ethnicity. You don't go by the BMI chart. Please do not try to have your goal weight be the goal weight of the BMI chart. I would need to lose between 20 and 25 pounds to be a healthy weight on the BMI chart, which is not a healthy weight for me. So find a goal weight, find a weight that you feel healthy about and forget about the BMI chart. And then last but not least, the DEXA scan measures your bone density. So this is going to tell you how strong your bones are and what risk of bone related diseases such as osteoporosis you are likely to have in the future. So you can see that my bone density was 1.2, which is in the high end of normal. It's going to show you your bone mineral density and then your Z-score. So the science behind the Z-score, it's a standard score that tells you how far from the average population is. A Z-score of zero means that your bone mineral density is average for your age. A negative Z-score means that your bone density is lower than average and a positive Z-score means that it's higher than average. You can see that mine was 0 
eight, which means that my bone density is higher than average. It says right here, your bone mineral density is approximately in the 75 percentile. This means that about 75 percent of women in your age and ethnic group have a lower bone density. Having a high bone density is important as it decreases your risk of fracture. So not only is my body fat percentage much lower than women my age, my bone density is much higher, which just indicates to me that my overall health is exactly where it needs to be. Be in my chart and wait aside. So after we went over all of my results, I asked him, is there anything that you would recommend that I need to work on or anything that I need to correct? And this is where his response really just makes my heart so happy and really just literally made my day. The minute we hung up, I ran out in the kitchen and told Troy what he said because it's very special to me. It's very important to me. It's very exciting for me because coming from over 300 pounds and having a body fat percentage pushing 50% and being severely overweight to where I am today and to have him say, there's nothing you need to do. Keep doing what you're doing. And then he said, I do these phone calls all day long. I talk to hundreds of people every month and I go over hundreds of people's results of their DEXA scan and I have never in my his in the history of doing this job seen someone your age with as much lean muscle and low fat that you have. Whatever you're doing, keep doing. You are doing incredible. That literally almost brings tears to my eyes because it's been a long road. I've been overweight most of my life. I've struggled with my weight most of my life. I never ever thought that I would take the weight off and that I would be able to get to the fitness level that I'm at. Where a physician who does this for a living says, you are exceptional. You are exceptional with your lean muscle mass. It is incredibly high for someone your age. And he said that he can tell that all the hard work I've put in has paid off. And that scale aside, every other non-scale victory aside is the most important thing to me. It is the mo it is the thing that brings me the most joy. This is what I've worked for. This is what I've worked for for the last year and a half. This is what I fight for every single day when I make the food choices that I make, when I get up at 4 a.m. to go to boot camp, when I'm in the gym the other two or three days a week. This is the results that I've been working for. And for him to honor that and say those things, and he was just so proud of me that that is the most important and the most special non-scale victory so far. And I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and I'm gonna shoot for another body scan in six months to a year and have that lean muscle be higher and that fat be even lower. I'm just so proud of myself. And this DEXA scan and these results just validates everything I've done. And it validates the choice to track macros and calories, the choice to eat more to lose weight, the choice to focus on calories and protein and moving my body. It's all paid off. And yesterday was one of the happiest days of my life on my weight loss and health journey. So having this DEXA body scan and the results of this DEXA body scan prompted another big change in my life. So you guys know that I had a fitness coach prior to having my cosmetic surgery back in May. When I signed up for surgery, I stopped working with my fitness coach and I haven't had a fitness coach since. But I'm at a stage now where I have a regular workout routine. I work out five to six days per week. I'm at boot camp three days a week. I'm in the gym. It's just part of my life. It's not something I have to schedule in anymore. It's not something I have to think about. It's just what I do. Now that I have these DEXA scan results and I know that my body fat is healthy, my body is healthy, I really want to focus on my fitness. I really want to, again, build that lean muscle and lean any body fat that I can out. I know I'm going to have body fat. That number is always going to be about where it is for body fat, but I want to build lean more. I want to really focus on building lean muscle, especially in my upper body. I've been blessed with pretty muscular legs, probably from carrying around over 300 pounds most of my life and just getting in a really good leg workout three days a week at boot camp, I really wanted to focus on my upper body and I really, really wanted to have a clear picture of what foods in what quantities do I need to eat to reach those fitness goals. So I made the decision about three weeks ago to hire a fitness coach, not the fitness coach that I had before, but a new fitness coach. Her name is Brenda and she has roofs and quads on Instagram. I will link her down below and I know I'm going to get this question about can I hire her? Yes, she is accepting new clients. She is a female bodybuilder. And if you are looking for fitness goals, if you want to build lean muscle, if you want to lean down, get rid of body fat, be stronger, help 
healthier overall, she's the girl for you. She's very knowledgeable. Everything is done through an app. She's going to give you food suggestions all the way down to grams and how to build your meals. She's going to give you cardio workouts. She's going to give you gym workouts that are all done through an app. I check in with her once a week through the app. I message her through the app whenever I have questions. It is full access coaching for weight loss and muscle building. Now, I don't wanna be a bodybuilder. I'm never going to do a show, but you know what I wanna do? I wanna to continue to lean down and build lean muscle because I wanna be strong and healthy when I'm older. And we naturally lose about 3% of our lean muscle every year that we age after the age of 30. And on my birthday on Saturday, I turned 48. So I wanna counteract losing any lean muscle. And as that DEXA scan told us, lean muscle burns calories at rest and you look leaner, stronger, and healthier the more lean muscle you have. So by hiring Brenda, she's going going to help me reach my fitness goals. And again, that is just to continue to lean down and have that lean muscle continue to creep up for the next DEXA body scan. I'm at a stage now where I'm not really looking to lose weight, to lose fat. What I'm looking to do though is to see my weight potentially go down with building lean muscle or even just maintaining the weight that I'm currently at, which I fluctuate between about 185 and 190 pounds. You know, staying in that range would mean that I'm replacing any fat with muscle because remember, muscle and fat weigh the same. Muscle's just smaller and more dense, so you'll look better. You'll look leaner. And speaking of the BMI chart, just kind of on a fun side note, when I hired Brenda, my coach, she said that she is considered to be obese on the BMI chart. I'm gonna pop a picture here of Brenda. She's nowhere near obese. She has extremely low body fat, but because the scale only measures mass, it's measuring all of her muscle as weight and puts her in the obese category. So just another reason why we don't know the BMI chart. We don't know her. I've really, really enjoyed working with Brenda so far. I've been doing her upper body workouts in the gym two to three days per week and they're hard. I am sore. I'm in the gym for about an hour lifting weights and then you know that I walk to and from the gym. I've been reaching my five days a week cardio goals between boot camp and walking. Sometimes I get on the stair stepper at the gym. My goal is to burn about 300 active calories five days per week. Not 300 total calories, 300 active calories. I easily reach that at boot camp, and then I get that in by again walking or doing the stairs in the gym. Even the little bit of time that I've been working with her has really helped me with my workouts. The app is very easy to use. I track everything in the app, all my workouts, my cardio. You can even track your food in there. I track my weight in there. It's really, really fantastic, and it's very comprehensive. She's really helped me look at fitness different and really helped me figure out what is the right goal for me. I needed someone to help me for me. And that leads me into the other reason I hired her and the other thing that I've really enjoyed, and that is the food aspect of working with Brenda and the food aspect of continuing to build lean muscle and decrease body fat. And this is where some of the changes to my channel are going to come into play. You guys, I'm eating between 1,800 and 2,500 calories every single day. I'm eating right around 180 to 200 grams of protein, well over 200 carbohydrates every day, and between about 60 and 70 grams of fat. She gave me food suggestions down to the grams, how I can build meals, things that I can swap out. Maybe I don't want this one day, but I want this instead. Kind of to focus on one lean protein for one meal and one fattier protein for another meal. I'm allowed to have a treat meal every single week. I don't have to track it. I can have an appetizer, a meal, and a dessert, and I don't have to track that. And eventually, I'll be able to have more than one treat meal per week. She has really helped me figure out how to build my meals that benefit my fitness goals and allowed me complete flexibility. When I traveled, she's like, enjoy your vacation. Don't, tr don't track your food. So she just speaks right to my soul and her and I are on the same page with nutrition. Now, you know that I'm a weight loss and nutrition coach, so I know how to build meals. I know how to do my own macros and calories, but having her just give me food suggestions that help with fitness goals has been really important to me. So with those food suggestions, I do have specific things that are recommended for me to eat for meals and snacks. Now, I wavered on whether or not I was still going to be doing a meal prep video because for me, it's really just putting together a protein, a fat, and a carb for every meal. So if I just cooked a protein, a vegetable, a fat, and a carb, if I bought some avocado cups or had avocados on hand or had nut butter on hand, that would be my fat source. So I started thinking, do I really need to meal prep every week or should I just 
prepare a protein source and a veggie source and a carb source and then build my meals with those components. So I actually thought long and hard about that and if that was a change that I wanted to make to my channel. And after thinking about it, I made the decision that I'm still going to meal prep every week. And part of that is because Troy enjoys my meal preps. The dessert that I make, he eats it. And what I'm going to be prepping is going to align with a whole food diet. So one thing about the food that's on my plan is that it is whole food focused. Now there are some processed foods. I still take two to three protein supplements every single day. I'm still allowed to have crackers and tortillas and things like that that are processed. I no longer eat lunch meat because it's heavily processed. I focused more on, I focus more on tuna and fish and ground meat and steak and chicken versus lunch meat. I'm still allowed to have cottage cheese and yogurt. My yogurt bowl has been a staple for me. It's a great way to get in a protein, a fat, and a carbohydrate. So you're going to see a lot of my meal preps being way more whole food focused. The only exception to that would be the dessert item and sometimes that's going to be whole food focused as well. I'm also going to be implementing protein a lot more into my meal prep because I do have a very high protein goal every single day. Whether I'm on my low calorie days or my higher calorie days, I do carb cycle and I calorie cycle as part of my plan. So I'm going to still be doing my meal prep. It's just going to look a little bit different. It's going to be, like I said, more whole focus, whole food focus, more protein focus. And I'm excited about it. And I know that you guys will be excited about it as well, because a lot of you ask for more whole food ideas and more protein ideas. So plan on that coming your way in meal preps moving forward. You're also going to see my what I eat in a day videos on Wednesdays change as well. You're going to see firsthand what I eat on my food plan to reach my goals. Now remember everybody's calories, macros, food plans, fitness goals are all different, but I'm excited to share with you what I'm eating to lean down, build muscle, and reach my fitness goals, which of course is going to help you guys with your weight loss and fitness goals as well. So you're going to see some changes in those what I eat in a day. It's just a lot less processed food, a lot more whole real food. And I will still be doing a weigh-in every Friday because like I said, I am looking to shed a little bit of excess fat and build a little bit more lean muscle. So I'm still going to be sharing a weigh-in with you every Friday and then of course you'll have a grocery haul every Saturday and that may look a little bit different as well. Again, more whole food focused. And then lastly, change wise to my channel will be Sunday. So I put a video out every Sunday like this one that's a little bit different and unique. The topics of those videos may change a little bit more. I really want to focus more on Sundays on informational videos on health and fitness and weight loss. I want to talk about how I heal my relationship with food. I want to talk about why protein is important. I want to focus Sunday's videos on information for you guys to help you reach your goals. That's why I have this YouTube channel is to help you guys, is to show you what I'm doing that's been successful to me to give you ideas and tips and tricks so you can reach your goals. That is my biggest achievement in life and being a weight loss and nutrition coach is seeing you reach your goals. So I want to talk more about that in Sunday videos. I still want to have fun videos. We'll be doing try on hauls. We'll be doing big cooking videos. We'll be doing fun holiday content as well, but I want to make sure that I'm incorporating a little bit more nutrition, weight loss, fitness related videos on Sunday as well. So I hope that you're excited for those changes. And then as far as Weight Watchers goes, not a lot's going to be changing there. I shared several months ago when I did a big life update video, I'll link it down below if you missed it, that my primary focus for the majority of my weight loss and how I actually lost 90 pounds in one year was focusing on eating my calories and eating my protein and really focus on calorie counting and macro counting. I track my Weight Watcher points one day per week. And that's the day that I film my what I eat in a day. However, I share Weight Watcher points in my grocery hauls. I share Weight Watcher points in my meal preps. I will be continuing to do that. But I wanna be open, honest, and transparent with you and let you know that for me, especially at maintenance, Weight Watchers is not sustainable for me. It's not enough calories, it's not enough protein, it's not enough carbs, it's not enough of anything for me to maintain my weight and build lean muscle. I need far more calories than Weight Watchers will give me. So I only, like I said, track my points one day per week and my focus is on calories and macros. That is how I've lost the majority of my 140 pounds. That is what works for me. 
It's sustainable. I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I'm not on a diet. This is my life. It has literally changed my life. And like I always say, the only regret I have is not counting macros and calories sooner because it has gotten me to where I am today. It's gotten me to that DEXA scan, that body scan, those results, macros and calories has done that for me. So if you haven't had your macros and calories done, whether you're on Weight Watchers or not, even more importantly, if you're on Weight Watchers, have them done so you know what you should be eating every day to successfully lose weight and keep it off and not be on a diet to establish a new healthy lifestyle, to heal your relationship with food, to stop binging and restricting, to stop calling foods bad or good. All of that happened with macros and calories. So I will put my nutrition coaching website down below. Get your macros and calories. I offer coaching. If you want to talk with me, if you want to go over that information, that is what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. So take advantage of that. So I'll make sure that my coaching website is linked down below for you. So I'm really excited about what the future is going to bring. I'm really excited to create my goals for 2024. Of course, we'll do my vision board together. We'll talk about my 2023 goals. We'll talk about 2024 goals. I'm just really excited to see where my weight loss fitness and health journey takes me moving into the next year. I'm really excited to have Brenda in my corner. She's been really fantastic. I, again, will link her down below if you're interested in taking advantage of her services. Just let her know that I sent you. She does know that I'm going to be sharing this with you guys. I'm going to be sharing her information with you. I'll put her email, Instagram, everything down below for you. And if you're interested in a DEXA scan, just search DEXA scan near me. That's exactly what I did. And you should be able to find one in your area. And stay tuned for another DEXA scan in 2024. And I'm also excited for the changes coming to my channel. I think it's going to be really beneficial, not only for me, but for you as well. And lastly, thank you as always for your support. Watching my videos really helps me out. Using my links and discount codes really helps me out. And just continuing to support me and Troy overall is something that I am so thankful for. And each and every one of you has been such a big blessing in my life. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your continued support. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out that description box down below for everything we talked about. I'll put links and discounts to my other favorite things. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.